Alright guys, welcome back. So today, well, it's very early actually. It's been a couple hours since market opened. So yeah, your quantum names pretty much dumping 50%, 40%, 47%, 40%. But today I'm talking about, yeah, pretty much I could give a price target for everything, but I'm looking at IonQ. We have looked at it for many, many times. Uh, actually, a couple of times, but I was giving you RGTI example of saying that, yeah, this is probably uh, going to be looking like um, literally yesterday. Market emotions chart. If you haven't seen it, um, I'm going to show you again. This is what I um, brought up yesterday. We're saying on uh, RGTI. What do you guys think? I think we are in a complacency. Uh, at some point you will go through anxiety, denial, and then panic, capitulation. So, and I also told you that um, this cycle repeats with larger time frame, large cap stocks as well, but with smaller cap stocks it happens fast, it happens daily. And I have given the uh, example of a uh, um, Soundhound back when I saw the pattern that I recognized and I even put it on my I'm putting a little bit teachables course or I'm putting everything that I'm seeing in real time into that I put it in there too uh, for Soundhound and I compared RGTI to Soundhound but today I'm looking at IonQ I was listening to uh, I O N Q. I was listening to um, the CES, CES 2025 yesterday, the day before yesterday, NVIDIA and AMD reported, uh, I mean, they uh, introduced some stuff, they presented, they did uh, uh, talk a little bit about their goals and all this stuff, like there are a lot of stuff going on, like M&As, partnerships, and it's still going on, The but IonQ CEO, IonQ CEO was talking about quantum computing in general, and it was aftermarket close. I sit in my car, usually I listen to live streams and all that stuff, and there was a live stream going on, and this guy, this guy couldn't even explain his computer. <laughs> I'm like, Oh my God, it's, I, I, I couldn't find it. I, I really, really wanted to play it for you guys. But uh, somebody was asking about the performance of their whatever the product they have at the moment. And I'm like, this is 100% <laughs> short. But what you know today, well, of course, uh, you can, a lot of people are saying that, oh, it's uh, the... CEO of NVIDIA pretty much tweeted saying, or he, he was asked, what, what do you think about quantum computing? And he's like, yeah, I think what we can, there's 10, 15, maybe even 30 years away until there's an actual quantum computer that like we might be able to use to solve actual like problems. That was, that's what, that was his comment, which led for these names to take ahead. And then in the morning, of course, what you know, like a lot of people leveraged, a lot of people uh, have maybe even having a margin calls, and the stock flushes so far 43% in one day, uh, maybe even at some point right here, it was like 49, 50%. But QBTC, RGTI, Qubit, 47%. So, okay, this is the past now, okay? It has already happened. It's behind, okay? But what I'm watching from here now, so if we go back to the chart, I'm going to be very short with this one. We have last year's breakout of a 19. That was the resistance. Um, actually, it was 2023s. As soon as it broke out of this level, it was kind of choppy grind higher. And if you take a look at the moving averages, the 200-day moving average right now is $14.33 at the moment, of course. So this is the level I do think any time the stock tries to bounce, any quantum name, any bounce, any meaningful bounce to the upside is a shorting opportunity for me. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. But I would be looking for 
any pop if it if these companies starts chopping around even better which will reduce the implied volatility makes options cheaper i trade options a lot so and my target would be somewhere around here for this name ion q i can give you the rgti play as well this probably will go to two dollars and 75 cents at some point uh, but short term shorter term maybe some more 50 day moving average first that's the target that would be the somewhere around six something okay this is the 50 day moving average for rgti and these are the levels i'm watching these are looking like a death candles for these names but it was coming whether it's uh nvidia ceo caused it it doesn't matter who caused it <laughs> Uh, it's just was uh, bubbly and it is bursting and um, it can have uh, these stages of the market where it will yeah have a denial moment where people will basically how can I zoom in a little bit so you guys can see no that's fine but you can zoom in on yourself so at some point, it will have a panic moment. This sell-off, I mean, yeah, it is looking like a, it's panic, but it's it's a denial moment for me now. So we can uh, digest the anxiety with a little bit of a denial when stock has a little bit of an uptick, but I would be watching SEC for these names to file now and while their stock prices are higher to dump some shares to make um i don't see any offerings yet by anybody uh to make some um funding for the business while stock is up so that's the next thing i would be watching for these names again these videos are purely for entertainment purposes only i'm not your financial advisor talk to your cpa or talk to your financial advisor about whatever you are about to buy or sell these are not uh, buy or sell recommendations. That's the video for IonQ. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.